going on to you, Leos? So you, Leos, got the, the Death card, the Moon, Ace of uh, Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Wow, the Emperor. A lot of, a lot of intense cards coming up for you, Leos. Okay, the Death card, the Moon, the Ace of Pentacles. It speaks to strong energy of being by oneself. Okay, being by oneself. Um, not how how do I even explain this? Being by oneself, but it goes deeper than that. Not interacting with not having the tolerance to interact with delusional people not having the tolerance a lot of you leos are like look if you ain't making y'all are acting like capricorns like in a sense of if you ain't making sense you got to get from the freak around me like you got to make some form of sense you got to make some form of wavelength sense if not i'm you got to get out of my vicinity and you may and <laughs> you leos may even tell people that like look i'm about to get out of here or look i ain't on that or look nah let's stop talking about this <laughs> and the thing about it is that the, the the ace of pentacles people ain't hearing from you people ain't seeing you right so this new mentality that a lot of you Leos have is very much so direct and to the point and that people very much so have to be A1 if they're going to hang out with you, even as friends, let alone relationship. If they're not, you Leos are way more, what's the word, way more ruthless with how it is that you approach people now, way more ruthless. You're going to be way more selective. You're not even going to date the same way you used to. You're going to be more selective about the type of people that you interact with. But if it don't work out, it don't work out. If things end up being in a situation where you, Leos, find out through experience that these people are, you know, dysfunctional, you're, you're going to be like, ah, right, you got to get out of here. If, if they're not on the same wavelength, if they're not listening to what it is that you have to say, if they're not vibing with you, vibe. If they're not understand, if if the two of you don't have the same or similar values, you Leos are not rocking with it. You're and you're gonna sit back and pay attention to how people really are and be like, okay, let's see if you for real or not. And then the the Ace of Pentacles now represents. This is amazing because people are have to respect that. People are respecting you, you Leos, in your absence. Because now that you really showing and proving, like, look, you getting away from the wannabes and the social circle, and 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 it's okay. You'll hang out by yourself if that's what it is that you gotta do. You don't, it doesn't matter at the end of the day if you have if you shrink that social circle, right? Even when it comes to the people that you're getting to know romantically, where you where you may have been talking to a group of people and then you you stop talking to so many people. Or if it's if it's just you just don't have anybody and you single, period. That's the scenario that that you happen to be in. So the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles now represents this being a situation for you where the Ace of Swords is about you're not afraid to cut people off. Because some people, and this is something that I'm learning myself, some people deserve to be cut off because of the jealousy and the envy and how easy it is for people to flip-flop. You can't have these inconsistent people around you. They got to go. One minute they cool with you and then they about to do something messed up. But then but then when you tell them, get out of here, I don't rock with you, then it's, you're the nicest person. It's like, it's like they're so confused as to where they wanna go. They don't even, they're so confused they're, they're living, like in Naruto, you have something called Sukiyomi, which is a, 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 an illusion, uh, an illusion that's so powerful that a person does not even know that they're in the illusion until it's too late. You understand what I'm saying? In, in, you know, and this is where they are, Leo. They're so caught up in their own delusions, their own illusions, their stories that they tell themselves about you, right? 
this this idea that they can't make a decision. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. They can't make a decision between whether or not they rock with you. They can't make a decision. One minute they cool with you, the next minute they're not. One minute they're cool with you, the next minute they're not. Right? And it's like, come on, if a person is 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 trustworthy, they should be pretty consistent, you know? The Ten of Pentacles, however, represents but a lot of you Leos realize that hanging out with hanging out with these people from the past was in vain. You were so loyal to them only for things to be in vain. And the Page of Swords now represents this being a situation where though that's what those people from the past that you tried to date, they're still running their they're still running their mouth about you. Little do you know. You you're not even around. You're not even around those people. <laughs> You're not even around those people. And they have the mentality of, yeah, well, you Leos ain't this. Again, the delusion. The Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords represent how, since this is the case as well, the Six of Swords is you, you Leos can, you Leos don't have to feel anything. You have a clean slate to move forward with your lives with whatever you want to do, whether it's rather you stay by yourself for a little bit or whether you continue to get to know others. Six of Pentacles, you're in the clear. You're in the green. And the reason why is because you really did try to make things work with these people. You really did try. You really did try to get to know other people. You really did try to put your best foot forward. So that's the, that's the best thing for you to do. You cannot, and this is something I'm learning myself, you cannot people who are caught up with the, the the jealousy and the envy, they're gonna get caught up with it no matter what. And that's something that I'm learning myself. I spent so much time being humble and I and today I realize that that's a farce. That is a that I'm gonna still be humble because that's my superpower, but at the same time, I I am not gonna be caught up out here where people will tell straight up lies about me stuff that they have to fabricate that's so far out of the realm of the reality it doesn't even make logical sense it's not even it's irrational right and that's the same type of scenario you leos are caught up in right they wanted the cash prizes now that you're not with them now the big regret is setting in and the, and the seven of swords they, because they want to be able to control you. They want to be able to tell you, jump, and you must ask these these people how high. The Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor. The Queen of Pentacles. Oh man, my head. <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor is about how, because what happens is that the Queen of Pentacles very much so is about how you're in a situation where you. These people are highly, man, highly manipulative, highly conniving, highly into ghost lighting, trying to manipulate, always playing some form of games. And you know why? Because all of that is nothing but a big cover to get you to continue all of the trips to get you to continue to to continue to be distracted because they don't want you to see these people are very dysfunctional. And that they don't contribute anything. They don't contribute anything. So I don't know what to say. So let's clarify the um let's clarify the death card, which is you. the six of wands, the Empress, yeah, the strength, which is Leo, but they are the ones with the huge ego and the higher font. Yeah, you're having you're having big victories. You know, you're having a very big victory. You're getting over things about yourself, weaknesses. One some of the weaknesses that you're getting over about yourselves is the idea that you um you uh basically um how do I put it in words? Um you're done. You're done holding back. You're done with the idea of people just saying and doing whatever. Because Leo has a hard time in relationships too. Because people spend a lot of time 
being jealous as well. And a lot of you need to understand that you're in a position where you're very good. You're you're not dealing with people's issues. <laughs> the strength and the hierophant, no matter how sanctimonious or how self-righteous they seem to be, or how much they're trying to raise you up, right? Because the idea is you need to do better, right? They're doing it for your own good. You Leos know that that's a lie. 